Hey guys, another one of those sort of really lazy versions of content uh, where I just uh, turn on the camera, talk for uh, like 10 minutes or so, and then just upload it unedited it onto YouTube because it requires so little work. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you guys like this kind of thing, uh, you know, I'll just keep doing it, you know, because it doesn't require much of an effort for me. So I, I want to talk today about um, the complicated relationships uh, with co-workers that uh, I have had over, you know, years and years, you know. I've been working since uh, I was 16, you know, so it's, I mean, it's uh, close to 20 years I've been uh, in the working world now. So uh, I, I know a lot about uh, the sort of kind of weird relationship you have with co-workers where uh, you kind of know you need to get along with them because, you know, you're going to see them all day, every day for, you know, you know the, the foreseeable future of your life. So you need to be able to get along with them. Um, but then at the other time, on the other hand, you don't really want to get so close to them that uh, you become like really good friends because you know, you know, once you do go your separate ways, you know, either one or both of you leave the job and go somewhere else, uh, you don't really want to keep in touch with them. I mean, you say you're going to keep in touch, but at the same time, you sort of know that life's going to get in the way and that's uh, just over the long term, it, it's not going to happen. They're going to move away somewhere or you're going to move away somewhere or, you know, they're going to find other people. I have always sort of firmly believed that you don't need to stay friends with specific people just because you happen to get along with them really well when, when you knew them. I think, you know, you'll, you'll lose certain friends in life, but you'll find others, you know. And the, the working world is a perfect example of that, you know. One person leaves, another person has to be brought in to replace them, you know. You might not get along with them uh, quite as well as you did the previous person, you might get along better with them than the previous person. But friends, I think, work the same kind of way. They don't necessarily have to be a co-worker, they can be uh, somebody else in other, some other part of your life. But, you know, it's a transactional thing almost, you know, you, you lose one friend, you just got to make an effort to find another to replace them, basically. Uh, so relationship with co-workers, um, it's always kind of, I feel like uh, if they're not someone I naturally click with, that I get along with really well, I sort of have to accept, OK, well, I need to try and get along with them as best I can while they're working here and maybe just sort of try and make the effort to have nothing to do with them otherwise and maybe just hope in the back of your mind that they're going to go off uh, and work somewhere else soon or maybe you're going to leave and uh, go somewhere else somewhere. so you know it's, it's a little sort of private celebration you're going to be like, oh good they're, they're leaving I never really got along with them that well um, that backfired on me a little bit uh, a couple of years ago when I heard that somebody had left and I happened to actually mention to somebody else that I didn't really like them and that person um, the, the, the great sort of courteous person that they are decided that they were going to go around sharing that uh, with other people who I think po possibly did like this other person. And then that person came back and wor started working here again. Uh, they never actually confronted me, but I'm pretty sure they did find out that I had said that. So yeah, um, last time I shared something like that with that particular person. Um, the actual relationship I had with that person when they came back actually uh, ended up being much better. Actually, I, I ended up um, warming to them a lot more. Uh, as it happens. But so, so that's, you know, the other sort of thing about relationship with co-workers. You might fall out with them briefly or not get along with them on a particular day, but, you know, you, they'll go home, they'll get on with their lives outside of work and they'll, they'll forget about it. And you'll probably be able to forget about it. So you know, that's the other sort of nice thing about, it, you know, whatever sort of friction or, you know, falling out you might have, uh, it'll be forgotten about by the next day. Uh, and that, unless, of course, they're a petty human being that just holds a grudge or something, in which case, you know, screw them. They're not important, though. They're obviously not worth trying to make peace with. But yeah, generally speaking, I would say that it is worth trying to make the effort to get along with your co-workers, even if they're not someone that you naturally click with. Uh, and the way I have found through experience is the best way to try and do this is to just simply make the sort of generic polite conversation with them whenever the, there's an appropriate time, you know. Tr try and avoid the sort of the standard introduction sort of things like I'm so-and-so, uh, I do this job, I do this, whatever, I'm so so many years old or something, you know. Th there's nowhere that conversation can go beyond just, you know, them saying, oh, okay, all right, fine, and, and then, you know, maybe responding with uh, the corresponding information for them. Uh, you know, you can't really make that into a conversation. So ask more, maybe more sort of polite conversations about things, you know, current events or... Um, what you did with your weekend or <laughs> those kinds of things that at least can become a conversation uh it's not a very interesting conversation it's the rather generic kind of thing to say when you're trying to break the ice or something but i find it is a much better sort of way to introduce yourself and also maybe just sort of say a sort of thing that sort of typically sort of sums you up you know are, are you a funny guy are you a serious guy 
are you cynical? You know, are you are you a bit bonkers or something? I don't know. Uh, just just sort of give the sort of general kind of introduction of the sort of person you know, the, the way the conversations with you maybe will go. So with with me, it's sort of uh, it's dry humour is is the thing I sort of strive for. So I always try to sort of look for something to be slightly sarcastic about or make a, a joke about and uh, them uh, and then maybe. So the thing about dry humour, you know, is do I do I do they laugh about it or do they uh, do they take it more sort of seriously? This this happened with a particular coworker when um, I did something a bit wrong and I knew it, I knew it was my fault and uh, they they were sort of quite rightfully blaming me and I sort of was slightly sarcastic with them about it and trying to sort of jokingly insist that it wasn't my fault and I think they probably thought I was actually being serious, so I was like right okay can't really joke with that person in future you know, they're, they're a little bit too serious and the interesting thing is this particular person the next time I saw them something else went wrong and uh, they were it, it, it was more sort of something that uh, was their responsibility they, they felt like that they needed to get this right and the fact that I had been responsible for something else going wrong about it I think they were quite sort of upset about it and uh, they maybe inadvertently sort of seemed to hold me responsible and uh, in a, in as polite a way as possible they, they tried to give me a sort of telling off and uh, I, I could sort of see in the way they were saying it they were trying to be civil about it they, they weren't trying to be angry or talk down to me but I could tell they also sort of felt like they they felt like um I wasn't capable of doing this job so I, I respected the way they were trying to be nice about it, but I also found it a little bit demeaning that they, they felt like I, I wasn't up to this job that I was doing just because of this one particular thing that had gone wrong. So I, I wasn't quite sure what to think of that person after that, so I, I felt like maybe it was best to just have nothing to do with them as much as possible. So things started getting a little bit awkward between the two of us over the next few months. We, we, I, I tried to sort of actively avoid even making sort of polite conversation, you know, even to the extent of just not even saying hello. Um, I didn't want to like walk past them in a corridor or something and not say hello or something. But, you know, if I, if I saw that they were nearby, I made a point to just sort of, sort of go somewhere else so that they didn't even know that I was there. And then, um, weirdly what started happening over the next few months is I think maybe they started to suspect that maybe I'd fallen out with them or held a grudge against them because they then ended up starting trying to befriend me a lot more. And the weird thing was, I, I sort of got the impression almost that they were, they were trying their best to befriend me, but it was almost like they'd read it out of a textbook. They didn't actually know the sort of the way that it came across naturally. It was, it was like they were sort of reading sort of the certain generic things that you're supposed to say. Um, but there was no emotion behind what they were saying. Just like in this, as an example, I told them that I was going off on a week's annual leave. And uh, they sort of looked at me and said, oh, well, enjoy it. You know, they didn't sound particularly enthusiastic about it. They weren't smiling when they said it. They just knew that that was the thing you were supposed to say. So it, it, it's it's a difficult thing when, when people are acting like that. You, know, you, you want to sort of appreciate the effort that they're going to to try and be nice and befriend you but at the same time they're not very good at it so I'm like it's it's not even worth bothering really if, if, you, if you're not gonna sort of have it even come across sort of naturally so yeah I, I, I don't dislike this person I just don't feel like I just naturally click with them so I, I think maybe it's best to sort of have nothing to do with them in some ways but at, at the same time they have made the effort to try and be nice with me so uh, I'm not quite sure what to think of this person at that point they don't work in my de department where I work and they are actually pregnant at the moment so they're, they're probably going to go off on maternity leave and uh, I, I would say knowing the nature of the, this place that I work they're probably not going to come back um, so I'm probably not going to have to put up with them uh, for much longer um, but part of me sort of feels like I should try and make a bit more of an effort with them just to sort of respect the fact that they are trying their best to get along with me. Uh, I, I'm not sure if really I'm a difficult person to get along with at times or not. I, I definitely feel like I'm I'm not an easy person to get along with with women because I I don't really understand the way that women socialise at times. That they, they just sort of talk about things that I have no interest in and when I say things in response 
it, it's almost like I'm I'm being cynical, you know, regardless of what I say to them. You know, I, I, I think some of them almost take offence to the fact that I'm preventing them from continuing to just talk constantly or something. This particular woman I've been talking about it actually isn't like that. She does talk quite a bit, but she seems perfectly respectful when I, I say things back to her, actually, all the time. But yeah, anyway, that's that, uh, guys. It's just sort of what's been going on in my life. You know, it's literally the only thing that uh, there is to talk about in my life at the moment is just what's been going on with work, you know. Trying desperately, you know, with the current situation to get back to normal, but uh, it's proving difficult at the moment. But yeah, that's that, guys. Let me know what you think of this little anecdote I've shared with you, and uh, if you want to hear anything else from like this from me uh, in the future, I will see you soon.